Hi there, I'm going to talk to you about an app called Shadow Puppet EDU. This app is now available to all K-8 students in the North Kansas City District. This is a really cool app because it allows students another option for easily creating videos in their classroom to tell stories, explain ideas, or to document their learning and much more. What's really cool about this particular app and what sets it apart from other available movie apps is that students can combine their own fit photos and videos along with images from the web searches they do from directly within Shadow Puppet EDU. One of the keys in using this app that I can't reiterate enough to teachers is to make sure your students have a plan before they start creating with the app. Make sure they've scripted out what they want to say, have all of their assets collected, pictures and videos in their camera roll. Because this one is a little bit trickier to edit once you've gone in and started to um, create. Okay, let's go ahead and get started and show you how to use it. So when you first open up the app, you're going to come to My Puppets or the home screen. It's going to show you where you can create a new video and where all of your um, shadow puppets will live once you've created them. Also down at the bottom, you'll see that there is a spot for ideas. You can click on this and it gives you some ideas and examples of how to get started for the first time. Okay, I went ahead and got started and I selected Create New. I'm going to show you how to utilize the app. The first thing you'll see on the left hand side is camera roll. This is where the students would find their images and their videos. I often suggest to teachers to have their students put all of those assets, videos, pictures in an album just to help them stay organized. And to find that album, you just scroll all the way to the bottom of that blue pane. Right under the camera roll is a really cool feature of this particular app. It's called Map Search. So in the search bar, if you put in a location, it will search that for you and allow you, you'll see the camera at the bottom of the screen to take a picture of that, and that will insert that as one of your clips. Right underneath the map search, you'll see education search and image search. This is really nice for your students. They don't have to get out of the app to search for images. They can do all of their research right within this app. So they can go, for example, to Flickr Creative Commons, and it will search for whatever they put in the search bar. Right underneath web searches, you'll see backgrounds. They have many that you can pick from that you can use as a title page or to insert text. Once you've collected all your videos and pictures, they will show up under reorder and you'll see how many that you have selected. You might want to go in there and reorder them. And you do that simply by holding, pressing, and then moving. Once you've reordered your pictures and videos, you'll select next. Then you will see a text and a music symbol. If you want music, this is the time to add it to the beginning of your video. There's lots of great choices to pick from. Then you go ahead and add text if desired. And their text options are really good. They have some transitions. You can change the font, the color, the size, where you want the text placed. And when you're done with each clip, you push the check mark. And then you hit the right arrow and you can do text on each individual clip that you have. Once you have your text and music inserted, you're ready to record. So you push the record button and you simply talk about each clip. You can go continuously through each and every clip or you can pause, move to the next clip and then record that one. While you're recording, you'll see a magic wand over on the left hand side. If you select that, you'll see lots of sticker choices. The kids really like this and you can insert those as you're recording. Once your video is completed, you'll select save and then it'll give you some saving options. If you select done in the upper right hand corner, that will automatically save your movie to your camera roll. You can also, you'll see there's a seesaw symbol because this is a seesaw app it will take your students directly to Seesaw and they can upload it there. Thanks for watching.